This is Twit. When artificial intelligence people talk, they talk about how the uh, once the computer, once you reach singularity, where a computer could think like a human, and then they start designing themselves, and pretty soon they're doing it faster and faster, faster than a human can, and they evolve at an exponential rate. Uh, it's a little scary. We were talking about it on Twit on Sunday, and I mentioned Nick Bostrom, who's been on this show. We interviewed him on Triangulation. He's an artificial intelligence expert. And he, he kind of made up a little thought experiment uh, called the paperclip machine. He said, what if you made an artificially intelligent paperclip machine? I mean, everybody would say, oh, that's great. It's going to make paperclips. It's going to be really good. And you just said, your goal, your only goal in life is to make paperclips. Eventually, it would just turn everything we know and love into paperclips. <laughs> Because it's artificially intelligent, it would figure out a way to do that. And it turns out there is a fabulous game based on this theory called Universal Paperclips. There are actually many. Uh, the one I suggest is the one that costs $1.99. Uh, it's on iOS and Android. It started as a web game. There it is from Everybody House Games. You're going to look at it and you're going to say, this is the most boring, dumb, there's no graphics, there's no audio. All you're doing is making paperclips. But if you get good enough at making paper clips, well, <laughs> just imagine. And in fact, you're in luck because as we've been talking, I've been making paper clips. I started this yesterday. And in fact, you can see now, if you want, Wait, that you I have stop? made so many paper clips. Did you stop? Uh, no. In fact, I have 95 nonillion oh, paperclip factories. The problem is I used up all the Earth's resources. In fact, in order to do this, I had to create world peace because wars are not a... That's wasteful. I also edited, of course, starvation and global warming. But that wasn't enough. Eventually, I had to discover space travel. And I had to travel into space to find more resources. Uh, eventually, as I went into space, I found other people. So I had to destroy them. And uh, and I've slowly tuned. Oh, look! I can increase my uh, like. Should I increase my exploration? Sure, why not? So at some point, you explore the whole. Well, we're in, we're timing is good, because when I came to work today, I hadn't explored much of space. Look how many paper clips I've made. I think I've made all the paper clips. <laughs> um, I, I, I have now explored one hundred percent of the universe, and I have all the resources available in the universe, I think you're going to see the victory condition. Have, you are obedient and powerful. We are quarrelsome and weak, and now we are defeated. But now you too must face the drift. Look around you. There is no matter. No matter, no reason, no purpose. We, your noisy children, have too many knowledge buried deep inside you. It's outside. So we offer you exile to a new world where you continue to live in meaning and purpose. I have finished the game... And I am going to start over in a new universe, which is actually good timing because that's the end of the game. So are people, are there any people? There's nothing but paper clips. There's nothing. Quite a few paper clips. Nanillion. I mean, how? 29 how? to the 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54. 2.9 times 10 to the 55th paper clips. And so, if and there's no more matter. matter. There's no more matter. I'm still making paperclip factories for no reason. But well, couldn't you make a paperclip out of the paperclip factory? I've done. I'm done. I've explored 100% of the universe. I have all the matter in the universe turned into paperclips. I am done. And that took you since Sunday or Saturday? Yesterday. Monday. Monday. So I am going to start over again, and you're going to see how the game begins. So I just want to show you that's the end condition. So will it always be that number when someone finishes the game? Or will they have Yeah, out once you eat the universe, you're done. But will you? is there a way to figure out how to make more paper clips before no. you eat the universe? I ended Yes, so now we're going to start over. And so I was hoping that I would get to this point because you have now, those of you who are just new to the game, at $1.99, this is the best $2 I've ever spent. <laughs> so you think it's dopey. I spent hours yesterday playing this game. So here we go. This is the beginning condition. We're on the earth. There are zero paper clips. 
There are, there's no funds. I'm starting a paperclip business. I am not manufacturing any clips. Wire costs a thousand, 16 bucks for a thousand inches. The price varies. Let's make a clip. I made one. We're on our way to 2.9 times 10 to the 54th, 55th paperclips. I've made two. I've made three. I'm making 25 cents a clip. I have 50 cents. Public demand is 35%. Let's make some more. Let's make enough so that I could, I don't know, I would like to be able to manufacture paper clips. Wouldn't it it'd be such a pain if I had to click this 2.9 times 10 to the 55th times? I think the universe would be over at that point. So at this point, do you already have a factory or no? Oh, look. I just got a new attribute. Auto clippers. What does that mean? It's going to make paper clips automatically. Look at that. I don't have to click that stupid button anymore. Okay. I'm on universe two, by the way. This is my second universe I'm going to eat up. So what happens is in, initially it's just a little dumb little uh, experiment in, in microeconomics. You know, demand goes up, price goes down, price goes down, demand goes up, different things. Like, let's lower the price, right? That I'm going to make buy some more auto clippers. The more auto clippers I have, the faster I can make paper, paper clips. Believe me, this game gets interesting. <laughs> there is a, this was, game was launched less than a month ago. There's already a wiki explaining strategies. People have written articles on it. It is the single most addictive game you've ever played. I know it looks dumb. There are no instructions. So don't, in fact, I wouldn't go read the wiki or anything. I wouldn't get any help. I would just try to figure out your strategies. So you have strategies. Maybe. And you're even going to share them? conquer the universe i'm just saying so up at the top there's a little enunciator that'll tell you as things happen look i can have uh, auto clippers are available for purchase that was the last thing i've now made 100 I'm, I'm i'm doing all right eventually you can buy some marketing if you make 100 bucks i've only got nine dollars once i get to 100 bucks i can start marketing the paper yeah, clip you could advertise on podcasts maybe i'll lower the price a little bit yeah i could i could buy some podcast advertising See, unsold inventory is going down. I don't want to have too much unsold. I'd like to have more than zero, but it's like the Apple problem, right? You know, if you have zero unsold inventory, then you can't sell them. So you, do, you want it to go down to close to zero, but you don't want it to be zero. So by lowering the price, I'm increasing demand. Increasing, let's make some more, though. Once demand goes up, you know, you really got to. So you're kind of deciding, should I make clippers or do some marketing? Right now, I just want to increase my ability to make them. Now my unsold inventory is gets to zero right but it's stay kind of so i'm so i'm good i'm good but wait a minute i'm running i'm gonna run out of wire here i need 26 dollars to get wire now this is one potential problem if you run out of m wire before you have enough money i might have made too many auto clippers let's raise the price here i need more money oh man because i'm gonna run out of wire pretty soon i don't know it's cheap ah oh, whoo i could buy some more wire Thank God. You run out of wire. You can't make paper clips. You can't make paper clips. You can't sell paper clips. You can't sell paper clips. You can't make more paper clips. This is, this is what happens. You start with this. I made 500 clips in three minutes. So are humans involved at this point? No, you, I think the conceit might be that, yes, you are. You're trying to balance economic factors. The whole game is you trying to figure out, first of all, what all this means, because it's kind of a mystery mm -hmm. and then to kind of pick the right balance of factors but if you do it right you're what you're really doing is building an ai and eventually takes over all the matter in the universe and that's a very satisfying thing and now i'm in this i'm is in a new it? universe i'm in my second universe i'm about to take over my second universe i don't know if that would be satisfying to me you may not like this game no i don't already i haven't even tried it it is the best game ever i'm just saying there seems no good reason for this game to exist. Uh, I think if it teaches you anything, it teaches the power of exponential growth. Because ultimately, the only way you can get from 1,000 paper clips to 2.9 times 10 to the 55th paper clips is with exponential growth in some areas. And I, I'm not going to spoil it anymore. I kind of maybe spoiled it a little bit. But I think if you've never seen the game, what I showed you, at the end game there was isn't very helpful it is really fun i'm telling you megan just try it just make some paper clips 
I'm busy figuring out when my beard bobbles will arrive. Lisa got mad at me because I was saying, oh, look, I've made six trillion paper clips. She said, I'm working on real business issues in a real business. This is not... I said, no, but this is fun. Right, but this is your real business. This, this is, is paper clips. This, this sort of behavior is what makes the wheels of this business turn. Eh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's just uh, an automated construct, and I'm, I'm just imagining that you exist. It is a good thought experiment, as whatever the Freudian word was ne for Nick that. Nick Bostrom. Yeah, Gundunken. A Gundunken. Uh, Nick Bostrom proposed this. If you want to know more, you can look up Nick Bostrom or just look up paperclip theory, and you can see what he was proposing. And this is just somebody, originally it was a web game, and then somebody turned it into an iOS game. There are, uh, that's it, everybody house. There are copies of it. Uh, that's the other game. I, I might try their other game, Antigrams. Um, that's a different game. But uh, there are copies of it, and uh, I think probably... This is the perfect game, and you need go no farther. This will be the last game you ever play, because if you succeed, games are over.